Good morning, Echo Cluster. I'm Commander Koski, and I welcome you again uh, back to Basal Sector to witness how the birds are battling for dominance. Uh, last time I talked about early economy, and we just watched a few turns of my bird game. This time we are going to discuss about how you use that economy as a glove to bash your enemy dead. That's what we are going to talk about. And to begin with that, uh, we'll go to another sector, uh, my robot game, the embassy sector that is also going at the moment. And on the screen here, you can see the starting situation. Here you can see uh, when I press the Q key, the connections in the star map. And now, uh, as we play with clocking races and robot races, uh, it's quite different experience uh, when uh, clocking races or carrier races. It's very different experience, but there's a lot of similarities. For example, the importance of early economy. Okay. Here, for example, I start early economy again. I try to scout for the uh, st st try to scout for the minerals and the money and everything that's needed around, and I start to do that. And I found find some very nice uh, minerals, <laughs> but in this. This particular game, as you remember, I know already that my enemies are somewhere here, and this is a more tricky part, part, but somewhere here. And what I need to do is to build my economy, but also prepare for combat. That will happen. I have to plan how I'm going to reach the 200 or 250 planets I'm going to need to win this game and especially as the robots I need to start moving quite soon because my ships are slow so if I want to win this game in about 60 to 70 turns that's very fast then I need to move quickly and from the beginning and swiftly now, in this particle sector, I look at the map and I decide that I'm going to go either this way or that way with my carriers. I'm going to, and this is about this glob thing. Because when you think about the combat in planets, you can think that your enemy is a man with a sword, sword, and he's coming against you and he wants to hit you with the sword. And now, when you are a carrier race, a big, clumsy carrier race, like the robot, you're a barbarian. And when you are looking at your opponent, you are most likely a much bigger and stronger guy. So what you can do as the barbarian is that you can take your glove and you can start smashing the swordman to his head. You can just ignore his sword, you hit the sword too, you shatter the sword, you smash, bash the guy who attacks you to the head and as you bash his head in, he collapses and shakes and twitches on the ground helplessly as he's suffering one from serious head trauma. So then you can just keep smashing with your glob uh, those limbs and bones and crush them all. So what you can do as the carrier race is just build big ships, go directly to the head, the star bases, kill those, and after that many races like the Birdman are uh, helpless and you can safely take the rest. So you are the barbarian who uses big club to bash the opponent. Uh, and in this particular sector I find pretty quickly good planets here for minerals, uh, which means I can start building those carriers very soon. I also find evil empire jumps here with the probe so I 
can guess that it's only turn five, so he's pretty sure that he's my one of my neighbors. And I capture the probe. I show my neighbor that I'm not willing to negotiate anything. Uh, and in this game, I'm also thinking that this here might be a cloaker, or this here might be a cloaker. So I'm laying small minefields, just in case it's a privateer. But I'm also using this situation because I found good minerals from here. So I'm doing the rest of my early economy back here. Because if my enemy is here, I don't want to set these, build up these planets, or I don't want to build up these planets. Uh, because if there's a cloaker, they can try to do what I talked about in my first video about the cloaking bandits tactics. They can try to steal my freighters and burn my factories and mines and planets and ignore my beautiful carriers. But what happens there is I start to go there east and fly around with my captured probe which then reveals that yes this evil empire is here and as he starts to fly I know he has some flimsy early tech carriers sometimes evil empire players want to attack with superstar destroyers and ships like that from the very early on so I was I'm thinking that I will build some carriers to uh, fight against that. But then happens something that the bird moves in uh, with a large deep space freighter, which is very interesting move, but it seems that he has started with a large deep space freighter somewhere in here, in his home world, and started to move towards the neighbor. And my neighbor uh, this uh, bird sends me a message that howdy neighbor, how do you want to talk about uh, borders? I propose that I will take this planet that is already mine and let's put the border there. And for me, my home world is here, so I'm not happy with this proposal at all. I tell my bird neighbor that actually I propose that I will set the border around here. And uh, end of discussion. <laughs> we start to fight. Uh, he, he of course has this. Uh, he tows my medium away and also starts to do something. But what I am now planning to do is that, okay, I now know that my bird enemy is around here, so I'm going to use the barbarian tactic. I am building first some ships. I'm making a golem, uh, golems to build fighters. I need fighters, so I need build golems to build fighters because they've got large uh, cargo hold, uh, and I get much quicker and less ships ship built uh, to build those fighters. I need those golems anyway, so why not build golems first, and then. What I start to do is I start to use my economy as a glob. Uh, why I'm not talking about using ships? Because what I'm actually doing is I want to go directly to the bird home. I want to destroy the bird star places and after that uh, the bird can't win me anymore because he needs those star bases with the whole high techs to build those expensive cloakers. So if I manage to go quickly to his homeworld and the nearby star bases and destroy them, I won the bird. So what I start to do is I use my resources uh, to build chips, but also for the neutronium I need hundreds and thousands, I need thousands of kilotons of neutronium to fly those carriers to his home world. And I need a lot of uh, minerals for the carriers, but also for the fighters. And I need a lot of torpedoes uh, so I can uh, 
take away the room from him to maneuver because so what I'm basically doing with the minefields I'm pushing minefields towards him and I'm attacking with my carriers so what I do is uh, with the minefields I grab him by the collar and with the carriers I bash him to the head so here we can see that I have sending already actually my instrumentalities are already going here uh, he has got the resolute and he tries to do something but he can't do much because I'm using lower ID ship to tow my ship so he's not able to tow <coughs> my instruments and what I do first is I use two instruments instrumentalities to scout aggressive scouting uh, I have a transwarp instrumentality and a star drive instrumentality this one fights this one tows so I'm looking for the home world and here I see a lot deep space fracture and some other ships and when I follow them with my uh, ships that don't move I use the golem that builds the fighters here at my home base I use it warp zero and intercept the freighters I can see in the future turns that they are actually moving uh, moving to this planet so this must be his home world so uh, when I'm pushing forward against the bird he is uh, has less room to maneuver to counter my carriers or uh, get the important resources from here as I knew uh, he came first with the last D's press factor so he must have built some economy over here so with the move like this laying mines like this he can't really use those like here you can see he loses some ships to the minefield so I'm attacking with the minefields first and I'm bringing actually my golem is already here it's turn 19 uh, my instrumentalities move first and my golem is coming second how I'm able to move this fast and so far is for two reasons one reason is that I had the early economy and I loaded them up with fuel and the second thing is that my enemy didn't do a good job in emptying these planets from fuel so I could take fuel and move forward all the way to his home world so on turn 21 I arrived to his home world and there's some combat so there's actually quite a few dark wings over there and I destroy them I lose the golem against the planet and I lose uh, instrumentality against the dark wings but it doesn't matter because at this point I have destroyed the heart of the bird empire and I have most of his economy and logistics I've crippled with my minefields and he has taken so massive casualties already that the birdman can't win me anymore so I've won the birdman this way I use my resources to build a club that moved swiftly to the head smashed it in and now only thing that remains is the helpless corpse that twitches and shakes on the ground suffering from the head drop so this was how I used my early logistics as a glob to bash my enemy but in this particular game uh, I was not very skillful and even though I won the bird he was not able to rise from there again I did strategic mistakes by not using just a couple of turns first to build a few large deep space fractures and 
a little better logistics and little better early economy over here and just arrive a few turns later to the bird homeworld. I would have won him anyway, I'm sure about that, but because I did those mistakes there, I didn't get good enough amount of minerals, money and rest, so I could have built star bases. Uh, star bases and support ships because if you look at here you can see that my military has been huge the whole game okay I was able to build warships but I was not able to build the support ships the fuel supply and everything like that uh, because I was too eager to use my resources to make that club to hit the bird to the head so what I should have done is just pay a little more attention to the early economics and then hit the bird to the head. And then I might have had the opportunity to win this sector. Now I'm not able to win this sector. The reason is that the fascist, who is a very capable player, is uh, two players away from me and he has got fire clouds and also some other good ships and before the fascist there's the lizards and his ally of the fascist and I just couldn't reach the fascist homeworld so what I really uh, I have to yield this game and arrive third and all this because I couldn't challenge the fascists because I didn't do well early economy and have mobility to my fleet with the help of support ships and good fuel supply. But then, let's go to the bird game. Back to the bird game. Now, that robot example was about how in barbarian style you use the logistics to bash to the head. Now, with the birds it's not possible because the birds have got flimsy ships and if they try to just directly attack the robot or whoever, they will lose ships and because the bird's ships are very expensive, you can't lose any. So you have to go ninja style, you have to be assassin, assassin, and you work completely differently than the uh, than the barbarian. When barbarian goes forward and starts bashing, uh, what the assassin does, he starts to fight with thousand cuts, thousand cuts, and he first attacks the supply line, the support ships, and the planets, then the head, the bases, and he tries to avoid that huge club that is swinging around there. Avoid that huge club and only attack the sword, the main attack weapon, if there are no casualties. So what happened in this bird game is I started to move east. First of all, because there's a big void here, a big gap. So whoever would like to attack me from here, I would see him coming miles away. If somebody takes these important planets, uh, first of all I want to take these for my economy. There are not that many planets around here, so I need this for the economy to get the money, to get the minerals, but especially the money. I started to move with my large this space breaker this way because I had to find all the natives and tax them like crazy. Uh, and then move the natives to uh, the clans to another planet and tax them like crazy. So I would kind of uh, rob the money from here. So the idea with the bird is that you would have uh, 10,000 10, mega credits. You aim to the situation where you have 10,000 mega credits coming to your home every turn before the ship limit. And that's only possible if you locate all the native planets all around your homeworld and use. Uh, put clans in there and bring the money home. 
but so I knew my here is an enemy here is an enemy so in this sector I decided I try to be friends with this guy and I try to attack this guy because I want this uh, for myself and it will be easy to reach this enemy from here when it would be difficult to reach this enemy through this big gap because of the fuel and stuff so what I'm doing I'm moving again I did a small minefield there because if there's privateers around that's not nice uh, but then I see this robotic imperium okay the robotic imperium that's nasty news I know now already I want to attack that but because like in my previous game uh, what I just showed you I know the robot can just fly directly to my home world and bash my head I don't want him to get here so I try to get this hidden I try to hope my opponent thinks this is my home cluster actually because well, at the moment I believe that this is home world but it's not it's actually this one so it actually is possible that my enemy thinks that my home world is around here and this is my home cluster that's a big help for me because if he doesn't know where my home world is he can't go directly there and then he starts to have problems with fuel so what I want to do is I want to move quickly towards the east and all these planets between me and the robot I want to empty of fuel and make no mines there and make no factories there and I also want to start hurting the robot economics so I see that he's moving a large despress fracture here so I'm going to capture it which I do here is a captured large displaced fracture now this is my howdy neighbor for my robot neighbor and what happens now is I know the robot will come looking for my homeworld tries to bash my head in so I'm doing crazy work here like you see I'm trying to bring money home uh, and these planets I try to and I try to make heavy faces because when you are a cloaking race you are the ninja that attacks the barbarian that swings the club you need room to move uh, in this case I get the room to move by being first to take these planets between us so I control the situation here I can see what's moving here I have taken the fuel my ships are capable of moving my enemy needs to take uh, come through this and he doesn't see here so I've got room to move here and also if I have those heavy faces and I'm able to sweep the mines away from the robots I'm not allowing him to grab my collar and keeping me still I can still move around set traps to him attacks the supply lines and everything uh, for that so what happens is there he starts to first protect himself with mines okay that's smart but you have to remember that uh, if you as a robot player start to protect yourself with mines uh, those uh, minerals are away and money are away from building attack ships so if you uh, concentrate on defending yourself with minefields you are going to lose because what you need to do as the robot is you need to attack and kill the neighbor <sighs> yes but now he is coming okay first with cat's boss he's trying to remove my room from movement what I'm doing here is I'm emptying these planets I'm of course taking the crazy important molybdenum from here for the heavy faces I'm trying to keep this empty so uh, he can't get them fuel to advance forwards and I'm not building any mines and factories there I'm actually building economy and star bases here 
So because I d and then I try to keep that hip there. This is a cloak chip because I need to have ships uh, nearby and this is very important because what I built here is I built here heavy phaser ships, resolutes and dark wings to sweep the mines. You need about 50 uh, heavy phasers and after that you are able to sweep most robotic mines of a full-sized 150 light years uh, minefield but that takes awfully lot of molybdenum so you need a lot of molybdenum there then I also built some Mark 8 torpedo uh, dark winds to destroy instrumentalities with 98% success rate there is 2% that you might fail but there's 98 that you will win and then in here I'm building sacrificial dark wings uh, those towable one with bad engines it's a humanoid planet so I get the Hultec 10 it got bad engines so I need to tow it to the front but it has got at least Mark 4 torpedoes uh, and some lasers so I can use those to first attack the star bases or carriers if needed so what happens is my enemy starts to move towards me and he tries to come directly but it's turn 19 like you remember in my game against the Ro as the robots against the birds it was turn 21 when I attacked the home world of the bird now it's turn 90 and he is pretty close actually 20 21 that's a cat's paw but it could have been possible for him to to attack my home world if he knew where that is but what he's trying to do is to remove my room to move but uh, at this situation it looks bad but I already start to have those heavy phases thanks to my early logistics good early logistics here I'm able to build those heavy phases and I'm able to sweep those mines away and quite soon afterwards the tides change first of all what's very important I also have a swift heart here and a resolute here and what the resolute manages to do is to capture planets and large D space fractures and the robot starts to defend himself with minefields and all that is away from building those carriers that he could use to attack my homeworld and what I start to do <laughs> what I start to do is he tries to use minefields but I can sweep them away with my heavy faces so then he tries to come in with instrumentalities but thanks to my Mark 8 photon torpedo uh, dark wings I'm able to destroy the instrumentality so what happened here was that I'm able to use this area to safely fight against the robot. There is room between us. Uh, these minefields are not on my important economics. Uh, these are barren planets that are only there. So there's room for me to maneuver to see what he's doing and he tries to look for my important planets and this is just a battleground room between us so uh, this is very important that you manage to get room between you and your opponent because as you remember you are the ninja as cloaking race you are the ninja who is trying to kill with thousand cuts the enemy and the big barbarian tries to swing his club and he wants to go directly to your head but if you have room to move he can't hit it so 
what happens then is that I manage to take total control of the minefield so I get so many heavy faces that I'm able to sweep everything I'm hidden he can't see me he doesn't try to attack anymore because uh, he doesn't have the means to know where my important planets are and also because I think he's starting to lack resources he used so much to the minefields and his early aggression and I took some of his actually took these planets and flew all around here uh, I took some of his freighters so he's not able to do much and so what happens is I control the situation and come closer and closer to his homeworld and what then happens is that I manage to reach his homeworld and at this point the motivation of my enemy is so slow so low that he's not even actually doing all his turns and I'm using the situation to tow away important golems and that's that my phone's ringing